Hey, Brett here from UW Images. Thought I'd put together a short video on the setup and use of the new Kraken vacuum system. Great little uh, unit that is able to be fitted to any housing with a spare M16 port like we have here mounted to an Isotta um, Z7 housing. I'm not going to go through the installation of the unit in this tutorial. Um, may do that in future tutorials, but for this one, we're effectively just going to run through the basic operations. So what I'm going to do, put my camera in, I'm just going to basically close up the housing. At this point, I'm going to do is show you how to activate and you know, turn the unit on and take a vacuum and make sure that we've got an effective seal. The unit has this little cap on the top which you want to remove. This cap is actually used to activate and turn the um, vacuum system on. It has a little fancy little laser that sits inside of here. Once you put that in front, I'm touching it right up against this on off here, you'll see the unit activate and turn on and start flashing red. Well, it's gonna flash red if there's no vacuum. Um, so from that perspective, we're now activated. Now apologies on this. Uh, video is not picking up that LED light. I have used it outside in you know full sunlight and you can always be able to visually see it but you know just with the studio lighting and everything else going on not quite picking picking up that LED flashing LED. So the unit comes with two of these little adapters that you will chuck on to actually pull the vacuum. Get in there with two hands. There we go. So you screw that unit on and the pump that comes with the unit as well, a standard, um, will just attach onto the top here. Uh, now you basically fit on the top, start pumping the light. And what we're doing there is moving the air from inside of the housing and um, taking it to the point that it's, uh, it's going to have a nice and negative pressure. Once we've pumped that enough and removed the air from the inside of the housing, the unit will go whilst you're pumping, flashing a faster red than the standard uh, red when it hasn't got a vacuum, but knows when the pressure is changing, flashing faster red. And once you continue to pump that up, it's taking a little bit longer here in this demo because I don't have a camera inside the housing, so there's a lot more volume to remove. It will start flashing green. And once you have green, that's it. We've got a negative, enough negative pressure. That means that the housing is good to dive. Now what you do once you've got that flashing green, remove the top cap and replace it with the standard cap, the cap that you always dive with this on. That just screws on and off you go. We're ready to dive. The whole time it's going to be flashing green. You can, uh, if you're going to be you know, doing a vacuum and set up the night before, you could uh, you know, remove that cap Put the laser, you know, use the laser to turn the unit off so you're not draining the power of the internal battery. Um, and then in the morning, activate it back on and it should go to flashing green straight away, meaning it's still holding that, uh, that same, the right amount of pressure. To, once you've finished your dive and you want to get your camera and more importantly, the beautiful images off the camera, you effectively just remove the cap. There's this little button on the top. You press that and that releases the pressure out of the vacuum or out of the house, the pressure out of the housing, and then that'll allow us to open our housing up. That's it, as simple as that to use, uh, a beautifully elegant design. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks again. Uh, for more information, head over to uwimages.com.